bottom to like the instance like, yeah. there was less than one percent between him and James in the oh, five wow. minute window wow. which is like we'll know more tomorrow morning but I think that's <laughs> like literally like a handful of votes like maybe less than a hundred sort of thing like it was that oh, close is what so. we were just told right now but those analytics are done just so fast on the fly with our partnership with Twitter that I mean it could have been it could have been either one of them and he was such a fan favorite that like should he hit the ground running now? Go start recording his album. Like, what would, what advice would you give him? Go now. Go now. Go now. Go big. Go soon. Go now. Ride the wave of this momentum. He's the fastest four chair turn in our show's history. Um, he's got a great voice. He should. You know, I, every time I watched him this season, I thought of my friend, who I say my friend, but I've never met the man, Ryan Murphy and Glee. It's one of my favorite shows, and I love Mr. Murphy's work. And I, every time I watched Matthew Schuler on our stage, I wanted to call. Ryan, I, I wanted to, to reach out to him, but he doesn't know me and I don't know him, and say, this is somebody that is a star uh, on yeah. television. And Matthew has that kind of bro bright future in recording records and on television, on Broadway, I don't, in a lot of different avenues. Do you think moving quickly is what's helping Danielle be successful right now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think we also learned from the past that like what would happen is people would win or you know, would, would be in the top three, and then the process to making an album and getting situated with the label, like, America just moves fast now, I man. It's like if you wait six months, like here today, gone tomorrow, I would ride the momentum. If I were Matthew, I would, be, I'd go, you know, maybe I'll be on the Today Show or tomorrow. I'd, I'd make an announcement, you know. I'd try and get on a tour. I would just try and ride it out. Now that there's so many journal, so many journalists, now that there's so many um, <laughs> contestants left on Team Adam, do you think that he might have a better chance at winning, or is it everyone's all for all finally? Well, he's got. He's got the odds, that's for sure. I mean, he's down to his three or, you know, I mean, he's pulled a Houdini trick here in the live shows. He's gone unscathed, which is just inconceivable, although it was close tonight. Uh, but Jackie Lee and Cole, and you got Blake, you got Christina, and you got Adam. It's going to be a dogfight to the end, for sure. Did Kelly ask you for any uh, baby advice? She's seen it. You know, she's like a sister to us around here. She's been backstage. She's practically grown up with my kids. She saw my daughter tonight and was like, oh, my God, look at that hair. Um, she doesn't need any advice. She's in good hands. Uh, she looks great, and we're just so happy to have her on. Very cool. Thank you. Nice. Thank, Thank you so much.